Hello. This is my personal message to those who claim to be the Galactic Federation of Light. This is from an Earthling known as Halo Mayo. Now, I have been waiting patiently since, oh, I don't know, 2011? Ever since I, I got away from atheism, and, you know, because atheism, it's all based on materialism, and it's all based on what the government has been telling you. It's not even based on how to to distinguish the real evidence from negative things such as this is the only life you get to live and all this nonsense that's why I got away from atheism and that's why you know I, I, I gradually became you know interested in the teachings of a new age but I've been listening to the Palladians every time. Come on, come on, YouTube. Gave these beautiful messages. Tell us some. Oh, we get the Dark Cabal is is going to come and mass arrests are coming and the Illuminati is crumbling down and crumbling down and all this stuff and you know. And from my viewpoint, it doesn't feel that way. In fact, it feels like you're just borrowing up us until it is our turn to take the gun, take the bullet in the back and, and, and be lying dead in the streets or somewhere. It doesn't even feel like the cabal is losing. It doesn't even feel, it doesn't feel, I mean, Benjamin Falfer said, oh, Bill Gates has been arrested and George Bush Sears has been arrested and all those stuff. And oh, the mass arrests are coming, mass arrests are coming. It doesn't feel that way. Not from my viewpoint. In fact, I feel that things are getting worse. Um, look at that Trayvon. That, I mean, he gets, he's unjustly killed, and they still haven't arrested that idiot Zimmerman. And then you have other people getting killed off, and all this other stuff, and you're saying, oh, just, just sit there and relax and meditate, and all this stuff. Well, Mr. Well, people of the Galactic Federation of Light, I wonder, would you be sitting around meditating all that if you actually experienced what we experience? I wonder. Because I don't feel that you guys actually understand what we really go through as human beings. First, to be lied to your whole life and indoctrinated into a fear-based religion. That says, oh, you gotta worship that god or be destroyed for all eternity. It's claiming that the soul dies and all this stuff and uh, he can destroy both body and soul. How would you feel if your whole life, you know, you've been told that? You know? And then, you know, we're trying to debunk it and these Christians, they do everything in the book to make sure that the belief continues and the fear-based thing continues even after we show them evidence we, we see the evidence we see the 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 coffin tablets from Egypt we've seen the Egyptian book of the dead and they'll say oh all that was planned by uh, Satan to confuse you some more so obviously their god is a it's a, is he's either a bully, a a sick, deceiving monster, both, and it's just no better than a sick, nightmarish tyrant. And how would you feel if if you know your whole life you never got what you wanted, your whole life you never had a chance to develop your spirit, your consciousness, or anything like that? Your whole life you were told that some person was love, and then their actions show that they're not love. How'd you feel about that? Be saying, and you guys are so luxury because you, if, if you claim you have all this technology, all this stuff, how come nothing has happened yet? It's April. It's April. April eighth. Nothing has happened in, from our viewpoint. 
We have all these people running around talking some Easter this, Easter that, oh, Jesus died for your sins and all that nonsense. I mean, ridiculous. And you're saying things are going to change? We've been told things are going to change a little. I mean, since since 2008, and nothing changed. Oh, well, except that good people have died, and good people were were slaughtered like they were nothing. And then you want to say, oh. Oh, you gotta, you gotta have a forgiving heart, and you gotta, you gotta give up the ego mind, and you gotta give up anger, and all this rage, and all this wrath, and you gotta give all this stuff up, and, oh, you even gotta give up logic. No. 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 Not until you give me evidence. And why? I want evidence? Why I'm acting like an atheist again? Why I want evidence? Because I am tired of claims that go unchecked, that go unquestioned. And then, when you rip it apart, nothing happens. All of your, your channel messages from, uh, Greg Giles, or, or something like that, you know, I'm, I, I you know, it, it, it's hard to, to grasp if the Dark Cabals really have lost their empire or not. It's hard to grasp that, especially after what we, you know, few weeks, you know, It's it's really hard to to determine and and oh don't bring back the Holy Spirit mess and and faith and all that crap. We just got a Christianity. We're not going back in. I don't care. I don't care. We're not going back in. I'm not going back in. No, no, not until it it establish uh, real ethics and real morality, not this special pleading morality, not this. Special pleading where, oh, if a human kills another human, based on them rejecting them and their love proposal, and you know where I'm going with this, Palladians, Galactic Federation of Light, you know where I'm going with this, yeah, and then the god of whatever, <laughs> can do whatever the hell he wants, you're right, no, it's not, no. And I should be talking to the Christians, but the Christians are brain dead. They're, they're all zombies. Christians are zombies. They can't think for themselves. They don't even read their book. They, they, they go get a pastor to read the book for them. <laughs> or they're gonna go and uh, get, um, you know, Hebrew or Greek versions of the Bible. And then they want to add whatever words they want to put in there to make it look like, oh, it's not as bad as what it seems. <laughs> They're funny. But anyway, enough of these Christians I love picking on so much. Because I was one of them. And it says, it says I, I, I'm picking at myself, my old self, when I talk about Christians. Because, yes, I, I really was a Christian. I really did believe this stuff. I really thought, oh, if you accept Jesus in your heart and you were not baptized, you'd be thrown like a fire. I really thought that. So I'm not, I wasn't lying, saying, oh, I was never. You can't say I was never a Christian. The no true scoutsman fallacy, but I really was that. Anyway. Um, I want, just, just, you know, put up, or shut up. That's what it is. That's what I'm trying to say. Put up or shut up, uh, Palladians, Collect Federation of Light. Um, especially if, uh, the mind thing is coming past. If we're really gonna go through a place where the whole entire planet will be dark, uh, for three days and three nights... Uh, we should be preparing for that day, not BSing around with all this nonsense. We should be just preparing. 
So, how do we prepare for that event? Hmm? That's what I want to know. Oh, and I would like disclosure to happen, like, within the next two months. Don't let me come on YouTube again and, uh, openly declare a message to the Galactic Federation of Light. Don't, don't, I mean, I'm just saying, I would like this thing to happen within two months. Because this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Alright, that's all I have to say. Much love to you. And if your messages are true and you really did crush the Dark Gabal Illuminati, I would like to thank you in advance for watching our backs when no one else did. Thank you very much in advance if, if that really happened. Anyway, Namaste. Later. Oh, and I'll, I'm still, I'll be still waiting. Okay.